it's Miss Lewandowski again. Today we are going to be doing some more math. I am going to ha teach us a little bit more about quadrilaterals and triangles. We're going to do a quick little review and then you are actually going to do kind of like a guessing game with different riddles that you're going to get on your assignment today. So a riddle is kind of like a puzzle or a challenge. So and it's kind of like guessing what something is. So for example, it, we're going to play what is the shape. So I'm going to give you different clues about what shape this could be. And then at the end, you're going to try to guess what that shape is. Like, for example, if I was doing, um, let's say we were, I was playing like guess the animal. And I described it. I gave you clues and said an animal with long, tall ears, a white puffy tail, short fur, and liked carrots. You'd probably guess that that would be a bunny. So we're going to do the same thing, but just with shapes. Before we get into that, though, we are going to just do a quick little review of our quadrilaterals and our triangles, okay? So I know we've been going over these for about a week now, so some of you guys might know them pretty well. Awesome job. If not, pay real close attention because I'm going to go through them all right now, okay? We're going to start with our quadrilaterals. So the first one we're going to start with is our square. So remember, the attributes of a square is that all of its sides are equal, so each of its four sides are equal in length. There are four right angles in two pairs of parallel sides. So each angle right here is a right angle because it makes that perfect L shape, okay? Also, the, it has two sets of parallel lines, and those parallel lines are those lines that never touch. They all, they are going across from each other, and they're never touching. Okay, so that was our square, our first quadrilateral. Our next one is our rectangle. So our rectangle, some of its attributes are that it has two pairs of equal sides. Okay, not all of its sides are equal, but this side and this side are equal, and then this side and this side are equal. It has four right angles like my square. And it also has two pairs of parallel lines, like my square. So you can see it's right angles in each corner right there. So that's my rectangle. Okay, got two more. Our next one is our trapezoid. So our trapezoid, it just has one pair of parallel lines. Okay, it's a quadrilateral. So it has its four sides. And there's one pair of parallel lines. That's this top line and this bottom line because they're never going to cross. They're going to keep going across from each other like that and never touch, okay? And finally, we have our rhombus. So our rhombus, all of its sides are equal, and it has no right angles, okay? So if you look at each of our angles, none of them make that perfect L shape, so there's no right angles. But like a square, all of its sides are equal, okay? So those are our quadrilaterals, okay? Before we move into our triangles, I just want you to take a quick break, maybe wiggle out your hands, wiggle out your legs a little bit, kind of take a breath because we're going to move right on to our triangles, and then we'll be done with this video lesson today, okay? And then you can move right into our assignment. So, first triangle we are going to start with. This one that is a scalene triangle. Okay? A scalene triangle means that all of its sides are different in length. So none of its sides are equal. If you look at this triangle right here, every single side is a different length. They are not equal to each other. So that means it is scalene. Okay, our next one we're going to go into is our isosceles triangle. So our isosceles triangle means that two sides are equal in length. If you look right here, you can see that this side and this side are the exact same. Our bottom side is not the same, so it has two equal sides, which means isosceles. And last but not least, we have our right triangle. Our right triangle means that there is one right angle in this triangle. If you look at it, you can see right here that there is one right angle because it makes that perfect L shape. You see that? So those were all of our 
quadrilaterals and our triangles that we've been talking about for the last week or two. Now that you know those attributes and you got a quick little review, you are going to go and do your assignment, which is going to be guess that shape. It's going to give you some clues of different attributes like the ones we just talked about here. And then after you read all those clues, you're going to think and narrow down in your head and see what shape do you think it could be. Okay, so you can go find that in your Schoology Math folder. Good luck, friends. I know you can do it. And I will see you for our next lesson on Friday. Okay, bye.